So hello and welcome. It is Vanceber and in this video we shall talk about a new mod or let's say a new project for a very old game for Medieval 2 Total War. This mod is called The War of the Houses Lotharingia. So um, this mod is basically a project uh, for Medieval 2, as I mentioned before, that aims to change the player's view of the game compared to what has been done in other mods so far. The mod creator, as he wrote on, on official ModDB page, said he was happy to announce that this mod was no longer a project and has become a reality. But with the help of the other creators who took care of the modding part, they were able to release this mod back in 2021. As you will have understood from the title of the mod, you will not play as a kingdom or a people, as in most mods, but here in this mod you will play as a royal family, as a dynasty, basically a noble family. The campaign map starts as in the base game in 1080, but unlike the base game, the game doesn't take place in the same geographical area. As head of the family, you will have to make your family more powerful than the other families. By building alliances and expanding your holdings, your family will have to compete with, with other houses to become the most powerful. I can already say that this mod is very interesting indeed. And this mod is... Or I can say this, this mod has a huge potential to be probably one of the most very interesting and the most unique mods for Medieval 2. And, and this mod uh, is basically unique compared to other mods because as we all know there are a lot of very interesting mods for this old game for Medieval 2 like I don't know Stainless Steel or you know EB2 or I don't know Divide and, Divide and Conquer, Aristotle Conquest Steel and Steam, um, Debelo Mundi and many others, or I don't know, Call of Warhammer and etc. All those mods are pretty unique, okay? While Sun of Steel, let's say, is trying to portray a realism, you know, you know, realistic campaign map, map realistic battles, realistic factions in Middle Ages, EB2 is trying to portray basically the same, the realism, but instead of Middle Ages, EB2 is trying to portray the realism back in ancient times, you know, in the times of ancient Rome. So here you have basically all these big differences between EB2 and Stainless Steel. And then you got, of course, Divide and Conquer, which is even more unique because this mod portrays, as you know, Middle Earth, Lord of the Rings, Tolkien's world. This only makes Divide and Conquer even more unique than, let's say, Stainless Steel or uh, EB2. But all of those mods have, despite, you know, taking place in different time periods or taking place in different world, they got one thing in common. In all those mods, you play as a nation, as a country. Basically, the factions are countries. On the contrary, in this mod, War of the Houses, Lotharingia, the factions are not countries or states, but in this mod, the factions are, you know, uh, noble families, dynasties. Okay, the first part uh, of this video was about the short preview of this mod. Now, the second part of this video will be about a tutorial on how to install this mod. This tutorial is pretty easy, so this section will be pretty short. So here we are on the official ModDB page of this mod, The War of the Houses, Lotharingia. And here in this uh, second part of the video, I will show you how to install it. The installation is pretty easy. We will go to the files. The link, by the way, will, will be down below in the description. 
And here we got, as, it says, as you can see, the newest version of this mod. It's called Alpha 1.3. Yes, this mod is still in Alpha. Basically, it is still far from finished. But the community which are creating this mod, they are doing a fantastic job. And yes, and yes the creator of this mod is Andrew1830. This guy, he deserves the praise. Okay, you guys, you should come here to the mod DB, to this, you know, official page of this mod, and you should, you know, support the creator, support Andrew for fantastic work. Okay, so right now, yes, here we got the newest version, which is 1.3 alpha. So we will click here. And we will click download. Now, as you can see, this mod is not very big, which means that we don't need to apply large as a where we don't need to apply we don't need to apply four gigabytes page, okay? We don't need to apply none of those two things. This mod is pretty small, so we don't need to. So what we will do, we will just click download and the mod will be downloaded. Alright guys, so as you can see here we got the mod in 7-zip, so we will open it with either winner or 7-zip. I use 7-zip, so I will use 7-zip of course. And here we got the mod. So, what we'll do, we will go to our medieval 2 folder, we will go to the mods folder, and here as you can see I already got this mod here, Lager the Masons. Which means that, that you will just drop this file inside your mods folder of your medieval 2 total war and you are done with this and as i mentioned before you don't need to apply larger than over or 4 gigabytes patch because this mod is not as big as some other mods so you don't need to all right so we'll go to our mod and what we'll do we'll just double click on this on this batch file and the mod should run Alright, and here we are guys, so as you can see, the mod was installed. And yes, I disabled music because possible copyright. Because this mod uses different music. So I don't know if this music is copyrighted or not, that's why I disabled it. Alright, so we will go to the single player and to the grand campaign. And as you can see, the campaign map looks all the different compared to let's say vanilla medieval 2 and here you got um, different factions which are all noble families as you can see here we got house of um barefoot you got house of namur you got i don't know house of Ilung, um house of hechenbach montgomery leuven Wessex. Flanders, Italian house, for example, which is Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Here you got Capetian house, which is, you know, Kingdom of France. House of Normandy, which is, of course, England. Here you got um, um, House of Boulogne. Or, I don't know, House of Hohenstaufen. Basically, yeah, you got uh, very House of Holland. For example, basically you got very interesting factions. You don't have nations or states, you got houses, which means royal families. So this is already more unique than basically most medieval 2 mods, because majority of medieval 2 mods, as you know, when, in the, when it comes to the factions, they, it, they are countries. Yeah, countries, nations, not noble houses. So this is already more unique compared to all those mods, which I mentioned before. So, you know what, let's try House of Holland, for example. Alright, so here we are. And yeah, as you can see, the campaign map looks completely different. 
yes, in, yes, on this campaign map you got basically uh, the Netherlands plus Belgium, Luxembourg, the parts of Germany, France and UK. And yes, as you can see, there are a lot of factions. Just look at this <laughs> chaotic campaign map. Just how many factions and how they are how they are all spread out. Like it is crazy. It is it is really crazy. Really, really crazy. It's what is Imperial Church. Oh yes, I forgot to mention they are basically uh, two church factions. One is called the Imperial Church. And the second one is is ecclesiastical principalities. Yeah, basically two church factions. One ecclesiastical principalities they are loyal to the Pope. Meanwhile, the Imperial Church are loyal to the Holy Roman Emperor. Holy Roman Emperor. So basically, and as you can see, those two churches they are basically at war with each other. That's how it is. So, and we as House Holland, we are allies with House of Flanders. Flanders are right here, which is basically the territory of Belgium. And our enemies are, of course, Salian House and Imperial Church. So basically, we are at war with not, with, not, with not just the Imperial Church, but we are also at war with the Holy Roman Emperor. So, yeah. Yeah, we are as, you know, the Holland. In such situation. Yeah, my Kaiser. Oh, this Kaiser. All right. So, yeah, as you can see, the campaign map is basically uh, this part of Western Europe, which is, you know, the parts of UK, parts of France, Germany. Plus, you got the the entire Benelux area, which is, you know, the Luxembourg. Belgium and the Netherlands. So yeah, I think that this mod is very interesting and very unique because, as I mentioned before, here you are playing as a noble house, as a royal family, not as a nation, which is already more unique than most other medieval two mods. So that's so yeah, I believe that this mod has a huge potential to be to be very interesting mod. Also, I would like to mention that here on the official ModDB page of this mod, there are also more information, not just about, uh, you know, the factions, which are all, you know, all, all noble families, plus two uh, church factions. But here, okay, but here, as you can see, um, the mod creators, they also put more information about the future content, oh, about the content which is still in the progress or some ideas that could happen if everything goes ahead for the main campaign which means that here is here we got some ideas which might happen in the future we don't know and here of course we got the content is in the progress so I definitely recommend you to visit this website, to visit uh, the official website of this mod and read all of this so that you can, you know, discover more information about this mod, about the future content and about, let's say, some, some I don't know, future ideas which might come. So, yeah, this is also the last thing which I would like to mention here in this video. And I think, it, and I think this is all, guys. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, mod preview plus tutorial. Because uh, this video we can basically divide into those two sections. If you want to see more, of course, uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Visit me on social websites like Twitter and Instagram. And, you know, leave a comment down below. So, thank you guys again for watching this video. And we will see you later. Have a nice day.